Welcome back, ladies and gents. ECS Season 6, two maps left today on the North American portion of the show. We've got the Bears. He's our resident North American. We've got James. He's our resident... What table. are you, James? What even are you? <laughs> what this is are much you, better. James? This is much better. Wait, you're just fondling yourself. Wait, you just changed your shirt? I did. You're allowed to do that? This is Evo. I love Evo. I'm a fan of Evo. I've always been a fan of Evo. At the office. Nice. You could have steamed it at least, James. Look how priest it is. Was Peanut. this was this the year I went? I went to Evo, Evo last year or the year before. These creases. I don't recall. Over here, especially. That's. Terrible. Why are you exposing me? <laughs> so bad, isn't it? Why are you exposing me? I don't know if this is. Do the you year have no pride. Went. Like, look, he's just presenting me that this is this is who James is Bardolf is. <laughs> James Bardolf. <laughs> Most Scumbag your integrity. Move, move. Didn't your mother teach you better? Shirt tomorrow. I have a Starcraft shirt. You know where that? I'm going to the airport tomorrow. It's just you two tomorrow. Just us two. Yeah. So I could wear it then. I'm going to French Polynesia. And he needs to get a what T-shirt on it. A Starcraft 2. Oh, nice. From an event. I respect yeah. that. MLG Columbus. Do we have to block any logos? Uh, I could tape off a logo. Just, just let's talk about it afterwards. We'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah. Which which event was it? Uh, Battlegrounds. Ah. Uh, what was that? Red Bull? Red Bull. Yeah. yeah. Well, I yeah. don't know if I could say that on, on stream. No, I, I did. Well, okay. I mean, it's still an event. We can't just... Well, we, we don't go as far as like pretending things don't exist or something, you know. So. Oh, you're not one of those guys? That's good. You got to keep it real. It's silly, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's a bit, bit paranoid and weird, isn't it? <laughs> what are you it's talking about? this thing that happened didn't exist. It's We're the only so league online. MI, MIBR are coming up versus Complexity. Do we have an updated leaderboard at the moment? Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a butcher's hook and see. Now, Complexity have got one W and one L today. So we will soon see um, the, the current implications. I think it's good to get the updates. So here we are. So now they're in fifth place. Mm. So one way or another, Cloud9 at best are going to tie. I do not recall the heads to heads, but surely they're doomed and they're not going to land. I think that is very, very likely. Yeah, I don't think they're going to go either. <laughs> so one of these teams is about to tie with points with Cloud9 and may even end up tying with Renegades and Team Liquid. It's possible. So it looks, so it looks like it's, it's either Complexity or MIBR and Team Liquid in the third and fourth spot. That's what it seems, right? Well, Renegade still has two matches to play. The thing is, Complexity and MIBR both have, like, if they go, <laughs> if they went 1-1 one, one here, that would be really awesome because then they'd all be tied with Cloud9 and it would really come down to the really last few games, I guess, versus Renegades and Rogue to see who goes to land, which is awesome. So Rogue having lost one match basically kicked them out because they, now they've got too many losses They're to okay. make their way They're up the out. table. Next, the best they could do is 30. Next level thing. Rogue scores all divisible by twenty four uh, by 8. 8 and 8, 16. 8 and 8 and 8, 24. Is that your contribution, Dad? Yes, it is, James. I love numbers, don't but, you? But it's negative 8, so wouldn't that be a different number then? No, it's just hyphen 8. It's just hyphen. It's not, it's <laughs> it's not a minus. Hyphen. Yeah, it's a hyphen. It's negative I. Yeah, it's like how you turn that around. I don't divide say, you know, the negative. I, I, that, that I can't believe me. how well Renegades have done so far. It's, it's crazy. unreal, the turnaround. It's crazy. Especially with the, the new addition to the lineup. But let's okay. start from the bottom quickly, right? Okay, we'll start. Luminosity are doing trash. They're just a trash team right now. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Space Station are a new team. So they get spanked. They've have made changes as well. Two changes. They've got Davey and Odorous, and they kicked two of their players. E United kicked their in-game leader, Ace, and... Uh, who, who was also their sniper, added a non-sniper, picked up a sniper who hasn't played for them just yet. So just mad craziness going on in the, in the bottom three teams, right? Yeah. Rogue have just picked up MSL. They're building. MIBR still kind of building with their new roster. So that's like half the table of teams. How long do we give them? That's a question. How yeah, but then like complexity MBR? as well, building with their new roster. Cloud9 building with their new roster. That is seven of the 10 teams. Renegade building with any roster. That's like eight of the ten teams have yeah. just got something happening eight, with them. Eight of the ten teams have made roster changes. Only Team much. Liquid and NRG are stable at the moment. Yeah. So that's a perfect storm for a team like Renegade to just burst through all these problems and come what out about on complexity? top. Complexity not stable. Well, they're a little inconsistent. I right think it's now. I think it's still new yeah. for me. I mean, yeah, they've got a stable roster, but I feel like I mean, Liquid and NRG's rosters have been in in place for much longer. Whereas everybody else has had changes of some description. Yeah. Yeah, Shazam and uh, Stance off to Complexity, I don't know, three months ago? Yeah. For, me, for me, it's really unacceptable that Luminosity are 
exactly the same stats as, as space, space station. station. I know, right? It's really unacceptable. It is, it is, it's deplorable. Yeah, so I would I would be surprised if they don't make some changes. I think I think for them they need new leadership, probably potentially, you know, fr from a, a coaching staff perspective as well as an in-game leader. I think just a completely different approach because when you watch them, it doesn't feel like they have any depth to their game, and it feels like they're very emotional. And so if everyone's you know hitting shots, the team's probably going to do well. And they're very fiery, but if if they're not, and if you're playing against a great team, they're not going to give those opportunities to you consistently. Yeah. So you just you're destined for failure. So it's not a good formula for the long term. So I'm curious how that will turn out. I wonder if they need, if they need a, need a captain figure in the server as well. Yeah, we don't know what the comms are like and so on, but uh, it, that is so lacking. It's it seems like <laughs> from the matches that I've seen with them they, that they do need maybe a leadership. A clear cut IGL for the Someone team. Someone to take the reins. I don't even know who even <laughs> calls for them right now. I, I want to say it's probably Steel, but I don't know. Actually, right now, I it, it probably have to be him out of everybody. It should right? be him or Steel, Yell, right? In theory, yeah. I don't know if Yell him called Yell. from the previous Luminosity teams. But no, I don't think he did. I don't think so. I don't know, but so whatever, whatever's Steel. going on over there isn't working. It's not working. Gotta, it's, it's barely it's working. It's barely functional. They got to shake It's barely a completed up. circuit. They got to throw some spice on it. Did you guys have to make electric circuits in school? Yes, with potatoes. With potatoes? Yeah. Like I don't know clock. if I used potatoes. Well, like scale electrics. It's potato clocks. Not Skeletrix, Dan, like a handmade electrical <laughs> circuit at school. Oh. I love those. Those were very stimulating. <coughs> you didn't mean engineer. After I this. would have liked to have been um, a physicist or something like engineering. It's never too late. It is never too late, but I'm busy studying all kinds of other stuff. And the, the shorter term. So I still have to finish. It. Huh? And then forgetting it. Yeah. <laughs> I, still, I still have to finish my celestial navigation. Celestial navigation. Is that like astronomy? Um, partly when you use a sextant to find out to plot your position in the sea. Okay. We're using the sun or the moon and the stars, mainly the moon and the stars. So you have a star finder thing, the sextant and some other crap. It's called the, it's called the internet. There you go. When you're at sea. <laughs> yeah. GPS. You would Works die. At sea, so it's fine. <laughs> you would die so quickly. <laughs> that's why, sea. that's why I'm not going anywhere near it, James. I know my limitations. So quickly. <laughs> 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 well um yeah so <coughs> on my list of things i bought loads of books on planes but um i don't want to invest in learning to fly i want to learn to fly but i want someone else to pay for it so for now i'm doing the celeste well I, when i get back to london i'll be doing the celestial navigation in december trying to learn that and then i don't know what else is i'm doing like some obscure scuba related learnings like closed circuit rebreather stuff and other things on board. I mean, you're learning to on boats. Dude, have you seen that. those videos on YouTube where people like um, contracted ex military people or whatever are defending boats from Somali pirates? I've heard about that, yeah. And they're just like, they've got these massive machine guns that are just blasting up the sea next to the boats and they're still circling and just not deterred, even though they're being shot at with machine guns. It's like, what are you doing? Leave. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's want to shoot you. absolutely wild. It's like something, I don't know if you ever saw those Chuck Norris films. Called Delta Force. It I was like badass that. American army. He's got a motorbike that fires missiles and stuff. And it's just like cool <laughs> American swag. Yeah, it's like that, but actually re actual real life. Like, <laughs> but there's there's little difference apart from there's no background music. But it's no, no joke. Pirates, no joke. <clears throat> They're crazy people. That stuff's crazy. Yeah, they got the sandbags built around the uh, the edge of the ship, and they just got these huge guns. They must have loads of ammo, and it just like the boat's here and the Man. bullet the bullet the fire's like there those pirates guys need the internet because they're clearly bored they do they need the internet man as soon as they've, they've discovered reddit it's fine they need u-boats they'll stop pirating they need u-boats <laughs> because the above boat small boat gets big boats not a, it's not a working plan you want to go underneath maybe undetected u-boat <laughs> yeah that's a rough one <laughs> i just uh um, i just renamed my p90 that's by kitty adorable deplorable for some extra salt when I... Uh, kind of ran, kind of sometimes I'll, p I'll, I'll pick a, a P90 if I feel like a, 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 pu <coughs> a push is coming and it'll equipped. I'll get my strafe spray I've, on. I've seen you uh, purchase a couple P90s in, in, the, in the bugs that we play. Every now and then. And, and people ask you, you got a P90? Yeah, but like, like, do you, you want to drop it? So I've got $7,000. I'm good. <laughs> Here's my 2350 weapon. All it takes I'm two ready. bullets. All it yeah. takes two bullets. I have yeah, yeah. 50 bullets. It just takes two. Get my pop flash game. Strafe, mouse one. There you go. It's all good. Then you got the the name in there for the extra salt. It's, it's a solid. It's a solid uh, do you, strat. Do I you like, like 
lounge or did you like lean the chair back whilst you're doing that? <laughs> just, just like cruising like this. Cruising with a P90. I should. I should. Yeah. That should be the thing for the stream. Just every time you pull up P90, just start lounging. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah. People, it's funny because my, the way I'm playing on the stream, like my camera is here and it looks like my, the top of my arm above the elbow is shorter than, than the rest. Cause so you look ripped. My weird. Stream. You look ripped on stream. My weird uh, posture, I suppose. But here we are. MIBR versus Complexity. The first map will be Mirage. We'll see if MIBR can keep their focus and turn their losses around to Ws here in ECS. Let's look at this push by Complexity. Ooh, the 300 pass. Fallen smartly falls back. Not giving them any kill. And just like that, MIBR will work this A bomb site in middle. The kills are going everywhere. Well, this is a weird pistol round, isn't it? Not the kind of duel you normally see. MIB are not necessarily in position to capitalize on the information from Fallen. Third missing the shot. He was dropped to P250. And now we've got the final two players coming in. Fallen and Tarek versus four of Complexity. Three players heavily tagged. So this could turn around quickly, but aiming for the head, they might not be so lucky to hit the chest get that one bullet in there's a boost over the smoke fallen doesn't see it just yet looking to clear ct in the meantime the bomb hasn't committed just yet oh Tarek, you may see all of it there's a first player you've got to be careful now he's down to the burst fire two bursts three bursts four bursts but no kill 180 from fallen again they were in the reds almost dead but not quite and the numbers game will win out for complexity interesting move in that two on two and x situation from MIB, MIBR. I thought actually Tark was going to go B. I was like, oh, Complexity is completely biting this fake. And it's going to be a free bomb plan B, but Tark decided to swing back, help out Daddy Fallen. Fruit does not pay off. And Complexity is going to push middle. Get some map control. MIBR coming off a loss at IM against Energy. So, probably playing with a little ferocity, like they want to win, because what better to do than lose on land than win an online map? Is Janko here? <laughs> Where's Janko? He doesn't know? normally seem to bother with the um, the online matches, it seems. Wow. But uh, that said, he, he has been traveling as well, so I don't know if he was on location, but I know he is, although he said that the, um, the coach setup wasn't the most ideal situation for him. And indeed, he is not. Seems he will concentrate on the big matches. <clears throat> Maybe reviewing the uh, the tape that we have from the uh, the week's proceedings over in Chicago. For alone, plenty of time for him. It seems they have a good idea as to where he might be. He's got no Kevlar, so he's got to be quick. Aim punch will be too great, however, as much as it's been reduced, which was a fantastic change. Shows good attention to detail for for the developers as well that they're looking at all the aspects of the game. Apart from drawing on the map, of course, because I still can't do that, Valve. I wonder, like, the more I spam them about it, maybe the higher up on the list it will go. So I'm making nuisance of myself. They'll be like, guys, we've got to get this guy off our back. Why don't we as leagues ban the CZ? If they won't take out the game, why don't we just ban it ourselves? Because I guess it's really hard to enforce that universally. Then you have the majors, and then they're going to say no. So, because I mean, the pro players, the pro scene is marketing for the skins in the game as well, which is, um, you know, a source of revenue. I don't want to hear so. logic. <laughs> oh, sorry, so sorry, sorry. You Please sound way me. too smart. I Just take it out of the game. Take it out. You could. That would have been a good question. I think it's come way too late, unfortunately, Dan, because when we had the French Revolution, if you will, <laughs> it's going way back. Let's go. When the CZ was being uh, exploited to its maximum, I really feel like the weapon cost people championships and was a um, was like a wart on the face of Counter Strike. But if we know what's wrong, are we supposed to fix it? So, like back then, it would have been a worthy a worthy question. Because it was just ridiculous. Well, if you take that example, it's like lead and paint. Why not just leave lead and paint then? Killed many people in the past. Well, you prevent it from the future, right? That is a question. 
Maybe not for me to answer. Well, Complexity have three players remaining and the bomb has been planted. MIBR are very well equipped with these AKs and seems that Complexity will hold on to what they have. Turn tail and run. The Dargon Law of Shazam will be held on to. Now, will they be fighting with these weapons again? The SMGs, I guess they'll have to. Which will make things awkward for more rounds to come. Terrorists win. Terrorists have indeed won. Yes. It's always nice to save some guns, isn't it? Save some guns. Life is good. You get another go. It's another try. It's another attempt at glory. Glory. And uh, this raid also a reset of your opponent's economy. And that said, they do have a nice amount of cash in the bank. Tarek with the top mid smoke on counts. That's how I was taught to throw it. Now, let's see if they can take mid away from the CTs. There's not too many nades here, actually, from complexity. Because their economy is not amazing. It is less than amazing. Less than average. Because they got two kits as well. So I like that. CTs do look poised to challenge middle, though. Position around connector, window, catwalk. Waiting for MIBR to push further forward. Resmoke comes in. Peep comes in. Shaz can't connect. Perhaps he needs to restart. No, that's a terrible joke. Never mind. <laughs> Bloody hell. It's not even the worst one you made this week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awkward for Stannis Law, but he gets a second attempt off. Why is no one turning around and focusing on this? They should have all been dead. That was so bizarre. Too much damage has been done because of that as well. Standard free reign and a better angle for Fallen. He gets to see the body of Shazam first. He's not going to fall and mess that one up. So we've got a one versus two after, uh, clutch here. Looking to get the bomb down, but it's very difficult. Goes for the fake, tries to catch one of the two players. If he's able to get this guy and mark it, he can run to the A bomb site and it's fallen. Of course he hits that one and he's going to go and do a runner. But it looks like Android may, did he get, did he hear the footsteps fallen? I'm not sure that he did. Otherwise he'd have his knife out at this point, but he's going for the double back, which is actually the, <laughs> the move to make. Will he realize where to cover? He can pick positions. If he's unsure, he can pick a good position that will cover all of his bases. And that's what he's doing, going down to short. And he suggests, the plant suggests that he's in maybe apartments as opposed to short. Android was there too quickly, so I, I don't think he saw him hop up on Van. But does it matter? I don't think he saw where the bomb was at just quite yet, so he didn't have an idea where Fallen could be. What a beast. Do you plant? Yeah, that plant is good for apartments and or catwalk. Fallen playing the angle smart. He's trying to take as many shots as possible with that such low HP. That was so cool. It's a good thing to remember as well. If you want to add a, the extra element of deception in, if you're in a spot like a 1v1, put the plant in a place which suggests certain defensible positions that might are very strong for that plant and then just go somewhere else entirely. Mind yes. Cold Zero. He should be good for this. That's a beautiful catch. Will eventually get taken down, but the damage has been done. It appears he has done his job. Nice. Or has he? Android still alive with 25 HP. Narrowly escaping the target. Tarek jumps up. And finishes off the job. Another one versus one, but he's barely tagged. And now Complexity will be back on the buy, but... Kind of weird. Android's got the money from AWP. But nobody else does. So there will be no AWP. A key victory for both these teams. Both these matches are. These are big games for both these sides. Everybody wants to make it to Texas. Beef, freedom, guns. Shooting ranges, namely. Tanks. Giraffes, yes. Even giraffes in Texas. <laughs> Zebras. Hello. Stewie, you... You cheeky. Cheeky man. 
been walking away very pleased with himself. Like a cat just caught a mouse. <laughs> Turns his back to explosion, that's for sure. The fade away. Hmm. Just like that. That might be our up one person's death. Feeling pressure to make moves, trying to find information. Voice in the back of his head to say push palace. Very tough spot. Yay, especially. Getting surrounded by MIBR players. Take out for around the ramp. Shazam, they'll get Cold Zero and Tarek. And just like that, would round look like a, almost a gimme for MIBR. Complexity just steals it, takes the rug, and just rips it right under them. I've never seen a player on Shadow maneuver so much and reposition so much. He was down here, well, he moved into the shadow position, then moved in towards the headshot position, close to Tetris, then moved back towards shadow, then went up the ladder, then down the ladder again, getting kills all along the way. Pretty pretty awesome from Ye. And then my BR will buy within the last bits of cash that they have. They had to sell everything. Visit to the pawn shop in uh, indeed as well, so if they lose this one, it's going to be bad, real bad. I'm wondering on their sound situation, because this is like the second round we've seen in the, in the six rounds where MIBR kind of like ignored someone completely. The uh, one round was Catwalk, his hands off with AWP in that round. Oh, yeah. Speaking of ignorance, he's made a mistake. Much faster round from MIBR, maybe used to the slow style, but every now and then. It'll change, charging through, perfectly timed, Shazam. Can't reload his gun in time. This is an absolute slaughter. Complexity on the convey belt into the abattoir. Leaving Stanislaw alone. Take one in the face as well. That is a violent response. But what is going on with Ye? He ran out completely exposed to connector, knowing that no one in his team has mid, cat or connector. So that seems very strange. Because that's when that's when the defense started to topple in. When you lose a player like that in that fashion, it just it's just like a stack of cards falling down. Everyone gets wrecked. Oh <laughs> again! What? Bop. Bopping heads. Bopping heads. He's warmed up. Stewie's mad. Bimmy Bop. Never makes Stewie mad. Eating them alive. He's, uh, he's a great player to watch when it comes to understanding how to tackle the solo B antics and just pressuring the B players, especially in rounds when, you know, there's mid presence. And so the cat players probably pulled away from B and then Stewie would get a 1v1 and sort of how he bullies that player and, and the angles he takes and the pacing and so on. He's watched his demos if that's kind of something that you want to learn. Stewie's pretty good at that. Ding wow. Dong, you, yay, angry about the connector situation. He'll do something with the USP. And my VR looking strong at the moment. Obviously, these will look dominant as a USP round, but um, these can play off into the rounds to come. Three rounds in a row for my VR. They start to reach the $10,000 mark in terms of money. And that's going to be a problem for complexity. They will need to stream maybe three rounds in a row together just to put my VR towards the eco. And that, by that point, the loss bonus will be rising. So it's probably even more plants more rounds, more buys to come, sorry, from MIBR. So uh, this is a strong position. They should be aiming for a 10-3 at the moment, MIBR. Very impressive score. Let's you playing pretty head middle, two catwalk push out. The double nade middle will hit nothing. As for MIBR, ramping up for this A take. It's an all top, I like that one. I don't know where it went. I think they missed. Yep. Supposed to go on top of default. Do the head stack there. Oh. Wow. oh my god. That's amazing from Death, and that is so much more than you could ask of him in that situation. The ninja spot. But the bomb will still get planted for MIBR. Cold Zero on all of three HP looking for a player to peek from the stairs. Full and jumping past. Spotted. Running distraction. Cold Zero needs to get one kill out of this at the very least. Look 
for them. Walking, such an unusual situation, and now that might be it. Does he go for damage? Well, of course he does. They've got so much money spraying through the smoke. They go back. They're lining up. Really, what <gasps> is that? What? Fallen. What is wrong with you? Really? Oh my God, that's an ace as well. That is what? absolutely ridiculous. The rounds we've seen so far, the AWP and that. What? Oh, he saw the leg, he saw the knee, got flashed. Look where he gets blind. And he, he transfers him. to he him and told him. him. He didn't see him at all. At all. That's very weird. <clears throat> He's a god. He is an absolute Counter-Strike god, one of the absolute greats. Showing exactly why right there. With a rifle, with an AWP, doesn't matter. Death doing some tagging. Death, no stranger to scout play. Oh my god, they want him dead, and so he will be dead. But he's created a spot where two players will die from one deagle bullet, so those deagles are effectively AWPs, especially in the hand of androids. He's got an amazing deagle. His first bullet aim, his accuracy is really, really good. And that's what you need with, with the deagle. It's all about the accuracy, except at that range. And now things get awkward. They found their way through to the B-bomb sites. Fallen leaders leads the charge, the only person with health. And we will see complexity slowly but surely move towards their position, collecting guns as they go. AK is now held by them. This is very scary for MIBR. No Kevlar though for complexity. That is a key difference for on the flank from the back. There's one taken out. Spots one more at the very least, maybe two. Two versus two. Quick peek from Fallen. Trying to line up a flashbang. Tarek pops out. Crouch peek from him. The flash did go beyond these players. And there is a second frag from Tarek. Eight to three for MIBR. And, uh, well, now complexity are a maximum loss bonus. But again, MIBR's money continues to grow and grow and grow. Fallen 15 for three. Yeesh. I think nine of those kills came in two rounds. <clears throat> but the score line is very good for MIBR. Nobody mid for them, as they might identify, at least aggressively. They could still be holding it from the entrance of the apartments. Molotov in B-apps. And Stewie is looking for more one-taps. Loves the one-taps. <coughs> Shazam. Just looking around, trying to find a kill. Being very aggressive, being very peaky. So far, I might be are giving him nothing. Zero here is lined up for the window and door smoke by Fallen. So it's gonna be a little B fake here. And it's gonna provide as complexity starts to over rotate at least two people. So this fake is gonna go very well if B hits now. Quick bomb plant, reading that nobody is in CT. Yeah, he's going to get there before Stu can pull his gun out, but he can strafe behind the box. Deploying some grenades, he knows he's there. But they've got no Molotovs, no HEs, just flashes and smoke grenades. His teammate will hold the angle to his right hand side, and again, complexity starts to walk in, but Tarek has a superior angle and a 2k for him as well. Keeping an eye on jungle, Stewie picking CT, sees one of the two players, as does Tarek. Cold Zero on the flank, and Fallen is making his way through T spawn. See them in a saving position now. They have all the information, and Stanislaw desperately tries to hold on to one weapon. But there's so much money for MIBR. Tarek flying out. Not much to lose. The scary thing is you can just, it's just so clear and tangible how MIBR are just amazingly good individually. You can see how much work they've been putting in because Fallen obviously looks really sharp. Stewie looks very sharp. Stewie's been putting in mad amounts of work. I mean, they all have. And so from an individual level, just like looking at this as a contrast to the previous game when you're looking at Rogue, Rogue's a good team, but this is MIBR. It's, it's a world of difference. And it's definitely difficult to deal with. The single orb and the... That was saved. It's the, saving, the only saving grace here in this round. Can Stan find a way to get something going here for the team? So mid take, successful. They'll leave cold to lurk by chair. He can catch any rotations from B. And okay, I thought the bomb was going B for a second then, but they're gonna go back towards A. 
That's where the most players are, though. The AWP is rotating back to B towards market. So maybe they will evade it for now. Well, we are, do have a lot of utility to work with for this A bomb site. At least two smokes, three miles off and four flashes. They make a lot happen. Stu and Tarek take out death. Okay, he's eagle kill and stand. Picking off Fallen, so this is a new tracking part of MMBR taken out really early. So that likes to clawing their way back into this round. Oh yeah, man, man, Tarek is forced to plant, but Android takes out Tarek. And now this looks way too big for Stewie to take over, and just like that, Android takes out Stu. And almost a uh, round, but he probably should not have won. I look pretty in charge the entire, entire round till the very end. Uh, not bad, not bad. All the smokes into mid there. Very straight away. Fast moves here from Tarek straight into connector. Fastest line you can possibly find. Player close though. He's going to find him. Beautiful movement coming in from Tarek. They did not expect this pace. Wrapping around the back here. It's not even going to be mattering at all because Fallen takes down Ye with the Glock to boost in to try to see something in mid, but it's just smokes. And the remnants of his teammates around, around him on the floor. They've been blasted into smithereens. Super fast play from MIBR. Devastating fashion as well. <coughs> Tarek taken out, just hunting for more and more frags. Stewie getting a little cheeky. Cold Zero and Fallen remain. Now, money is still, well, it doesn't really matter. We're moving into the last round of the first half and they've got enough in my BR, especially with the win bonus. Fallen creeping, <coughs> trying to take Absolutely everything away. Molly towards the bench. Some pre fight from Cold. Fallen will probably save the AWP. He's hungry. 11,000 for him. <coughs> Stewie can get dropped. And they're golden. 10 to 4 for MIBR. Again, very key games. Both of these. Uh, matches between these two teams for both teams to try and make it to land. Complexity can take the odd L here and there. But only one or two. The creep, the contact. Maybe I'm not throwing in these many smokes in mid. Maybe that's an indication, but maybe not because in they go. Stewie so fast takes down Android. Stanislaw trying to track, but can't quite find the second. And with that very quick frag onto Stan, maybe it's all going to go badly wrong here. Yeah, he does find position quickly, but now the smokes go down. The Molotovs as well. The backstab's in, and there's not too much left now for Complexity to accomplish as they have to fall back. But it's the last round, so they're going to be trying to play for what they can. And at this point, it's maybe it's just stats as winning the round seems out of the question. The flank presence just, just <laughs> really baiting. And there it is, Fallen. It's going to finish the half 19 and 4 on the T side. That's that's pretty that's impressive. Quite something. That is impressive. Very impressive indeed. And MIBR really shutting down Shazam. He had no chance to off anything. Every time he had an AWP, uh, MIBR would do something fast. Completely catch him off guard. I think this happened at least three times where it happened. So MIB are just so good at working positions on the map. But they don't have an A take. They have like four different A takes. So like little subtle differences, fast, slow, fakes. They have it all. Big numbers, top mid for complexity. One kill so far, close to two as Fur takes one in the face. No P250s for complexity. Moving out for an A split now, and Cold Zero is delivering some kills. Another target on the ramp. That's Ye with the bomb. He's isolated. His two teammates are in jungle. Ooh. They got to come back. Another one tap from Cold Zero. Looks like he was on for the ace. And now it's down to Tarek for the cleanup operation. Android and Stanislaw. Don't know where he is just yet. Android needs to cross 1v1. He's got to be careful now. Lining up for a double peek, and Tarek will try to avoid that the best he can. Android will, in the meantime, make it to the site itself. Tarek inviting. A fragger to come out. The double peak again works out. 
I think wow. he was flicking to stand there. He was. <laughs> that was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> you gotta love those lucky shots. Just feels so good. You know, you know, like, ooh, that was a little wow, lucky. <laughs> the guy in kill must have been like, what? <laughs> it's like instantly dead before you've even seen what's going on. Oh, a quick play from Fur. You know he loves it. Guy right behind him. Will he check? Oh, he does. He gets it. The CZ. The CZ is so annoying, isn't it? Death falls. I'm not sure which weapon he had. Oh, did he just have a Mac 10 or what was it? What is that on the ground? Yes, a Mac 10. Oh, Stan's coming for revenge. 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 And there it is. Revenge is had. The blood has been spilt. The family's been on it. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Stan's going to make his way towards Hunter Pass. Smoke out the window. Hey, guys, look at me. Look at the window. The Ace is going to plow over Stu. Paul gets a shot on Android. He tags the guy in triple as well. Oh no, someone stop him, please. Oh! <laughs> what? He is, he's absolutely on one. He is on one right now. Don't ask me what it is, what that one is, but he's on something. It's crazy. Fallen is murdering everyone. He's mad. And it's uh, it's a shame that Cold missed that Deagle shot. Cold, Cold is normally just perfect with those ones, but in the advent of that kill, it's a pretty dodgy 1v2 here for Tarek. He's not got a gun. Don't know that the scout can be collected. Push forward. He's found a UMP. 15 bullets in it, but bullet in his head as well. That headshot. We, I, I, know we, I know that's coming up. There it is. Yes! Slow mesh. Easy. <clears throat> The scout is fantastic for no scopes. Always has been, really. Yeah. In throughout Counter Strike, different games, I got accused of having blue tack on my screen. Nice. Because I was no scoping people for fun. Fallen is just incredible. What a gamer. He is. Mr. Counter Strike. Oh, he's deaf. Oh, spots the second one. And they run back, maybe thinking there's a stack, but they don't really know. That's a nice double peek on the view bomb site. The last funky one we saw from them was the boost under the window, which we saw Hiko attempting in the previous match, but that's another one for MIBR. Another one to look out for to fear. I feel like Fallen has made the butterfly knife a lot more popular. Him and Snacks are the two people that stick out with me. The butterfly knife. Snacks always. Fur's got one, Cold's got one, Stewie's got one. Only Tarek's using a current button. But I think it's become... Well, I don't know if there was apparently some glitch or something where... One would come out faster, like maybe... I think that that was a while ago, and I think it was fixed. But so yeah, I think Fallen's quick switching has just become iconic, climbing around train, you know, and it just has more of an urgency to it. Yeah, the way it comes out versus some of the other knives. Yeah, I think y I think you're right about the flip knife. <coughs> the flip knife was like a little quicker, or it came out quicker. I don't know which one. Something like that. Yeah, there was some kind of weirdness going on. Like a m couple milliseconds quicker for some reason. Oh, someone has crashed. So a technical pause is required. Good God. I know all about crashing. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Turn my PC on today and just everything was broken. Everything was crashing. <laughs> Completely fine yesterday. <laughs> turn it off. Turn it on. Everything's broken. We tried to play a game of Counter-Strike this morning. We both queued together. I think the queue popped. He accepted. I, I didn't have my headphones on. He didn't tell me that it popped. And I got a cool down for five minutes. Five minutes later. Well, no, you, you told me it popped, but you just didn't accept. Oh, no, it popped, and then something. I think it popped again or something. I don't know. Something yeah. happened, I got cooled down. Then I put my headphones on, and I accepted the queue. He didn't, so he got a cool down. Because <laughs> you, you queued, it was a timeout, and you queued without telling me. 
Because we were waiting for your timeout. Yeah, okay. So you, you should, and then, so me. I got cooled down, then he got a cool down, <laughs> and then his PC just didn't work anymore. <laughs> he wouldn't <laughs> boot counter strike. <laughs> and I was like, screw you, I'm going to play matchmaking. That didn't work either. <laughs> And then I just cancelled it all. It just took too long. I just ruined everything. Ruined everyone's day. <laughs> My laptop died recently as well. Yeah, oh, laptop's geez. dead. Just powered down. Too just watching Netflix. Too much static. Like power down, it? wouldn't power on again. Really? My so stuff doesn't really break unless I break it. But you, really? you use heavy-handedness. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't really break. I, f I feel my like own <laughs> things. I break other people's. Once I walked <laughs> into, um, we were in Milan one time. And accidentally walked into. Uh, I was leaving the hotel and the doors were closing. And I walked into the door and, and kind of shoulder barged it off the hinges, so it just stuck. And I just no one was there to see. So I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna leave now." <laughs> but when I came back, they had repaired it. So. The camera saw saw some strikingly handsome tall guy just run into it, <laughs> shoulder blade just it, walk into a door. <laughs> Glad you're okay. I think I must have gotten wrecked by a Windows update or something because it's the only thing that makes sense. I don't know. I, I I don't know why that error specifically happens. Definitely use the error if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like really weird because the f uh, uh, like a temporary fix for the crashing was like just switching user accounts, which then led me to believe that the initial user account that I was using was corrupted, because apparently that can happen with Windows updates. Yep. And apparently, like loads of Windows updates this year have been breaking things. So. I fear, I fear Windows updates. Honestly, it is very yeah. Like when they have those those big updates, which are not like a big security update, it's just a big features update. I'm like, I don't need any of these features. <laughs> I don't even know what they are. Yeah, I don't care. Just I just don't need any of this stuff. It just cuts my FPS. They don't keep either. every every version of Windows is a different. They just move the control panel around, and makes things harder to find. <laughs> it's like under new management, let's make everything look a little different. It'd be cool to have like a performance version, which is just like specifically just doesn't get touched or something. I, I don't know, like, to be honest, I guess what you'd really want to do is just use Linux or something. Just use Linux. There you go. And There's a solution. But, and if, you, if you're like, I think if I was a professional Counter-Strike player and playing from home, just, just to remove possibilities even if i didn't know how to set up myself i'd hire a massive like a super linux nerd to come over and just set up a system and just make it because linux is also like more secure like it's better security as well i know and you say this but i don't think you'd do it what's that i don't think you'd do it definitely wouldn't do it <laughs> yeah so pay someone <laughs> no pay you, someone wouldn't you wouldn't do it you wouldn't do it set up a, a linux, is, is, linux it's a whole different beast you can't even defrag your machine what are you talking about <laughs> defrag my machine <laughs> it, it, don't need to defrag my ssd checks my M2 SSD. There you go. But if you did, you wouldn't be able to do it. I gotta say, the advent of MD, uh, sorry, M2 um, SSDs is amazing. Mm. The fact that you just like slotted into the hard disk. I hated like messing around with all the IDE cables and trying to like do the cable management. It's like no, no, you just have to, like this tiny little thing just slotted in there, tight, tiny little screw. And that's that's amazing. Let me go the hard drive that plug in your motherboard directly. Yeah little RAM chips. I don't miss the days of hearing my hard drive start clicking. <laughs> oh, <laughs> click, yeah. Click, yeah. Click, 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 click. The click. terrifying sound of a clicking hard drive. Yeah. I had to retire a couple of those. It was a lot. It, it was pretty riskier back in the day if you ever took your plane on, or your computer on planes because it'd be really <laughs> bumpy and the old hard drives would just shake yeah. those little discs. Oh, wow. I, I really want to see one of those, like, they're so hard to open. They are. Because uh, I want to see the how you know how it works. Like one I don't need, need anymore, just little needles and stuff. You should do it. Do you have one here? Probably not. You probably could. We'll find it. I don't know. We'll break it apart. So there is a technical PALS. Someone has a computer issue of some description. Looking good for an IBR. Let's have another look at the table. <laughs> I think we can see the implications. Bring it up. Or they look like they're going back into the game. Internet loss. That's not good. Can we go into the whole um, team table? Mm. The table. The table. Table. Oh, they're going live. Okay, <laughs> never no mind. Table. The internet's back just like that. Boom. Reset. Internet. What about the table, James? <laughs> I'm <laughs> hearing so much about. <laughs> I don't know Where's what table, table you're talking about. There's no table. There's a table support in the window of Mirage, mm. but there is no table there. Where is the table? I don't know about that, but I see complexity with three submachine guns 
and they're up 3 0 on the T side, so they're very greedy. Is it worth the round? The upgrade? That's the question. <coughs> Are they walking it? They're walking it. Dark is going to push up. Very risky spot. With, with no head armor, you might get uh, tore up from the floor up with these McDoubles. <laughs> oh! <laughs> there it is. I like how he stops and jumps and then headshots <laughs> it. That's just too good. Just like that site is taken, is this a safe situation? I think so. Don't even risk it. Let's be able to fight next round. The window smoked off. Yeah, they're out. That's all right. Oh, Fine. It's your round. We still have a three round lead. Which and we see the table support now. Which knife is Fallen using? Wait, you never asked for tables see, in game table before. See, table support. Put two of those either side and you've got table. Oh, there's a table right there as well. Table? Looks like that one of those. The the table support. Tall. And some flat pack boxes. Wish I knew people that would flat pack boxes. What? They have flat packed boxes. Where? It's in, in the window. Look. Yeah, true. I wouldn't say they're flat Packed so as they're, opposed they're to flattened. flattened. It's close enough. Okay. There's no packing there. There's not preparation. That's just a mess. Give me the knife. There Look at is. him. He instantly drops a gun for his teammate. What a team player. Nice. Top he's fragger. The, he's got the crimson web. And a giver. He's a giver. He's got a maximum spider. There you go. Spider we need. Just about. Wait, that's your knife. I have a camera bit, yeah. So we got the same. Maximum Spider, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. It's a reference to Marvel vs. Capcom. Ooh, complexity. They're considering it. The Molotov comes out. Cold Zero briefly flash. You'll see a Shadow. He's going to make a play before Shazam sees him. Although Shazam is unlikely to check his location, but as soon as he starts to fire, Shazam wrecked, annihilated, deleted. Stanislaw in front of the entrance to CT, taken out by Fallen. And where is Death? He's on the way. I'm coming, boys. Went to the wrong bomb site. Cold had the great thing about Cold there is that he just had trust in his teammates. He just calls it, and he doesn't reveal his position. And then it's just you just know the round's over at that point. Just being able to hold that position whilst the T's are spread out, it's just too strong. Now he's got the bomb. He's moved to default, and he's put the last one. And Ooh, it's a close one. It'll be Terry to get the frag. It's 12 8. I, I do find it interesting that Complexity said, okay, guys, contact plays. Seems to be the way to go here. Although, not so much on A, not as much success as on B. So, what do they do now? They have the AWP, so you won't imagine that they'll do it again. Might see more of a default round here, mid take. Maybe try to take connector or window. Go for an A split. Might be something like that. More standard. Very nice angle from Fur. Wonder if Shazam saw any of it. That's an issue. They're going to press on. That smoke hasn't landed in the right spot. <laughs> Maybe blocked. I would imagine. By a CT. Chewie jumping past in case anyone else is there. And Fur will start to clean out B apps. Options are limited for complexity. Android will surely turn away and go towards A soon. Oh, that's unbelievable. But he'll still get the kill. That's the bomb spotted, though, on the radar. Now, MIBR, oh, he's never going to expect Tarek, surely. I mean, he's being very careful. They've got to respect that. But he was looking ahead of the position. Why on earth would a second player be there? Well, second player may have just won the round. It's a GG smoke. Elevate his position to try and avoid getting sprayed. Are they prepared for Stanislaw, though? It doesn't seem that they are. Here's a player on short. Oh, the timing. There's a player behind him in the underpass. There's a one tap, and he will get traded. Bomb collected by Ye. Not sure where to go. Has to stand and fight. Running towards B now, and again, it's another surprise because he's not going to expect Cold Zero to puncture his chest. 13 to 8 for MIBR. Oh, the money's all gone, isn't it? If they save. Just full save one round, they can buy... Actually, they'll have $2,400, so they can buy a little bit in this round if they want. But, yeah, looking to get that. 
by for round 23 going. And Sarah on the window peak. Can't find too much from it, so they must be suspicious. Stands in Palace alone on the lurk. Why do you make any noise? Or well, is his job just to try to get a frag as they rotate out? But also to force rotation out, you have to get some damage. Get some kills on the entry. Are they going for a B split here? This seems very... This, this formation for the T seems very elaborate, considering they have no utility and it's a pistol round. Yeah, they're just trying to squeeze out as many kills, make it as, mu as much expensive as possible for MIBR. Game is still relatively close, you know, MMB looks like they're going to just run away with it. If you don't win the round, make it expensive. That's the second goal. I might be out of passive positions, watching the crawl space from the entrance to B. And with Fur as well. <coughs> Not giving anything to complexity. Not engaging in the close quarters. Player spotted by Tarek. Player dead. It's an easy solution. Nobody looking through connector, although Fallen's going to have a look, but it's slightly too late. Shazam picked off by Fur. Lots of player in the ladder room. Maybe, maybe they get a kill out of this. Moving close to the corner, and it seems Cold will take his place. Surprise! Oh, he's got an LVP. beat. Fur can't really help. Oh, they're going for the knife. <laughs> yeah, that's Absolute like liberties Teamwork. have been taken. That's something you would do, James, and Bug. Do you know what? I wouldn't even do that in that position. Yeah. You have to. You have to be coming from behind. You know where you're It people? makes sense with the flashbang, though. Yeah. But I like to come out of nowhere. Just emerge from the ether. Emerge <laughs> from the ether. Door two or something. Hello and goodbye. Standard stuff from Fur. Stewie's been taken out in the meantime. Moonwalking. Death will eliminate Fur. Some pre fire. Doing good work. Such a common spray angle for T's. Tarek was further away from the corner, but Death will still find the frag. Fighting to stave off match point from um, um, MIBR. Spots a player in the window and he continues his charge, but. They haven't seen the bomb, MIBR. There's only two players left, however. Did he hear their jump through the window, Death? Really selling this. Their rotation is going in his direction. So what ironically looks like a, uh, a fake or an aggressive lurk. Oh, come and join him. They have the numbers advantage. Does Cold go for one? Does he play the bomb? There's so much time on the clock. There's a first kill. You know, there's another player is lurking. His ass is hanging out. And there's a kill. That is so weird. I think Cold's... Spot Look at this rotation for Fallen. He's he got spot He's probably got the worst weapon for this now, considering the health of the players. And he has to scope in so early, which means that it's just he has to get lucky in the first kill. I think with at this point, we'll see if he can pull something together. If someone's going to do it, it's going to be this guy. Bomb is quite close now, and he has a kit, but. Where does he find the two kills? There's the first spot, and he will take a nice little na nap on the sofa, the couch, the chair, whatever it is. It's a love seat. It's Ottoman. It's not, it's not Ottoman, but I wanted to say Ottoman. But well, I guess you said it then. Yeah. That was such a weird play by Cole. He did spot death early in the round in the B halls, and then he just completely ignored him even clearing any of the site it's hid by the bench area. It's so awkward. Another buy for MIBR. Five round lead for them. For running past the window to the up opposite side. <coughs> I think it's always good if you're not going to engage in mid to shoot the ladder room vent open or the crawl space. To give more undetected flexibility to your teammates. As you can see, Cold Zero already in the ladder room. Pop flash. Towards that connector position. Cold looks to create some space of his own. Not going for the aggressive smoke you would see from a Miki one versus Pro, which would allow him to get up to some nonsense behind it. 
with that smoke, he will back away. A safe exit for him. Android almost looks like he's looking for the player on the bricks. Sees nothing there. And Fur, just like that, will pop out. It's Chewy, pop flash to allow him to escape. We'll go for another kill. But Stannis will avoid the flash. It's Chewy and Connector. They know the trajectory. Dangerous player, those Chewy. Shazam still carrying the bomb. Nice trades coming out here for both sides. Bomb at the floor on the floor there by ticket. Has to be retrieved by these T's. It will be run made by Dev. Stuby on nine HP. He'll go down eventually. Tarek needs to get a surprise frag from distance. I think they know where he is though. Picking up the AK. Twenty bullets in it. That's more than enough to deal with these two players. We hear a. You must have heard sound there towards Tetris. Maybe not. He's looking towards every single position here. Elevating himself to make sure he can spot anyone on the side. Oh, he's trying to walk past the player on the ramp. That is unreal. How did he get that? He's got how many bullets? I don't even know how many, how many bullets he has left. But he goes for the hold here. And yeah, he starts easy. Easy as you like for him. As he pulls out the kill in the round. And now all of a sudden the complexity not looking too shabby. Because MIBR's money's been broken. Where is it going wrong for MIBR? Um, they seem a little more timid, uh, timid in terms of their peaking and angle holding the complexity. Just a work of the angles a lot better than MIBR. And just out picking them. Something you didn't see in the first half, so that's why the score looks so lopsided. Out the window. Tarek with one kill. I would have always had a knife out there. <laughs> Stairs at the floor for the flashbangs. He's playing for the win. I'm just playing for a knife. <laughs> that is a win. <clears throat> to me, it is. Win condition. Maybe not the team. Fall off win condition. I would imagine Cold came up on the radar at the very least. Getting pretty close now. A complexity win on Mirage would surely bring a very angry. MIBR into the final map of the evening. The money has gone for the American side, let's say. America's side, I suppose, is more appropriate. I think both are, both work, but with what's accepted as American, America's probably makes more sense. Well then. 14-11. Yeah, so it will be an AKA WP for Fallen. Meanwhile, Cold is on a max head. There you go. As a CT. Okay. Well, Zero's going to try to be aggressive with that. He might not, ex he might not expect Cold to be up close because he already killed Fur in the halls. This could be very good for MBR, even in the score 4-4. Four four. Ooh, does take him out. Cold Zero's gonna fall back. Fallen's push up and cat. Android's gonna smoke up Nectar and hide. Until Fallen picks him up. And just like that. Santa's Law, working the halls. Like he's gonna be V-hip for complexity. Fallen though is gonna be on top oh. of it. He's gonna have the angle. Ooh, just misses the shot. Yeah, pushing in, Fallen. Very, very fast, and it's going to be very difficult now for Complexity. Just getting out the apps, another free one for them. Tarek goes down, but he's got three teammates to make this one work. 50 seconds for Stanislaus. He doesn't have to, he's not pressured to plant straight away. We're going to cut off the player from short, and surely Cold will be expecting of this, but it's a better angle from Stan, and he's going to use that as an opportunity to run all the way towards that A bomb site. Maybe catch a player to, oh, that's genius. Would that go far enough? Maybe he's taking too much time here. The rotation from Fallen with the AWP around CT is going to be pretty powerful, but maybe Stan's actually done it. But there it is from CT, from Cat, rather. Stan is exposed. He's exposed all over the place. It's so difficult here. And they can see that they're just, right now, making him sweat this and just burning the clock, guaranteeing it. Not even winning by taking a fight, just by harassing him consistently. The bomb goes down. 
And that is beautiful play from MIBR. At no point there did anyone take a committed duel except the cat player who knew he would have it. Istan sticks it. Everybody else is just threatening him, preventing a plant. Very smart by MIBR to really just stall it. Don't give up early kills. When he plants the bomb, attack because you know he's in the bomb site. Doing good spam. Look, they're, they're chilling them. They're, what is it? What are you, what icing is it? the kicker. Icing. Icing the kicker. They're icing some dudes. They're <laughs> chilling them like cucumbers in a fridge. Dude icing. <laughs> icing fallen. 30 kills. Huge impact first half. Kind of slowed down a little bit on the CT side. But that's. Plex have been playing pretty well on their T side, so seems to fall too much. Cast that frost nova hmm. on your opponents. <laughs> Shout down. out to Dota fans <laughs> and Diablo fans. The Slow. angry Diablo fans. Slow their aim. Oh, that's a nice one. Very fast from Shazam. In fact, it's just a pre fire, really. Do it with his eyes closed. Cole's here trying to make up for it. Scoping me, he will hear that from the other boss. They know that he's on catwalk. Now, what will that smoke do as far as the CT rotations are concerned? That's, you know, one of the, the reasons why you throw smokes on the T side. You want to force the CT rotations by taking away vision. Well, B burst. Respect the continuation spray. Inviting them into the spray. Cold Zero missing his shot, leaving it to Fallen and Stewie. Fallen with 30 kills already, and it seems it is time to abandon this ship. This is going down to the wire. Again, both these teams fighting two for nail for the brisket in Texas. Ooh. This falls off the bound. That will be four from five rounds for complexity, but they're still three rounds behind. But they've decimated the money of MIBR. <laughs> They've reset their economy. But Fallen has an AWP and Stewie has an AK-47. And those are two very dangerous factors. Here's a fun fact. If you want to eat good barbecue, eat it during lunchtime. Because they start the cooking around 5 a.m. Lunchtime is when it's most fresh. Nice. You get it later at night, like 9 or 10 p.m. It's old meat. It's already been cooked. Usually. There you have it. And you've got more time to digest as well. There you go. Add Less guilt first. when you lie in bed. Less guilt. You can't have the guilt. Lunchtime brisket. Let's go. <coughs> like some applesauce, cornbread. Oh, coffee is fun. Right. It was great to be in match point. Eager to win. But just can't pull it out. My VR has to change something up. Complexity, are they already on top of that? Are they going to anti change on MIBR's change? It's the beauty of the mind games at this level. What we've been doing, we're going to adjust to what you think you're going to adjust. And then that's when the magic happens. Fallen has got to be active with this AWP. He must be the can opener, along with Stewie. Well, there's Stewie's attempt. There was a flashbang, but yeah, he had his cross in the right place. First problem has been solved. Yeah. There was a brief time when Ninjas in Pajamas would throw HEs over there if they anticipated a, uh, an A with some next attempt. They're still suggesting that complexity. Especially with players spotted up there. On the corner would be somebody keeping the op opposition honest. But deeper may suggest something else. It's a now, big push. Complexity don't want to take too long on this. They know they've got no lurker towards A anymore. Don't be afraid to lose. Play to win. And I'll do so by pushing fast into that B-bomb site. Tarek is alone. UMP, good for one. Can you get a second one? It's pretty not too bad. Pulls out the pistol, but it's cold to finish off Stan. Only two kills in the end for the CTs before they go down. The rotation's not made its way in just yet. 
this will be very difficult. That's a solid grenade onto Fallen, down to 7 HP. They surely have to save this now. AK, you want to save that? You want to save that up? Especially, they cannot afford to rebuy. It actually feels kind of crazy that they're still out here, but maybe looking to see if Complexity will make a mistake. Fur has the health to stay for a bit longer and cover Fallen's tracks as well, if someone was to try to backstab them after hearing Fallen run away. It serves as a somewhat of a bait, and Fur is going to see them running now. He knows he's got some kills up for grabs. Second one. Third one, and mm. he can't make the shot work. He will lie in wait, watching the Observer, as are we as well. He's wearing a little bubble. that would be 2 HP right there. Upper. The default plant spot. They're getting close. Today has been a lot of those uh, matches where one team will just pull away and the other team will come back. It's been like that <coughs> all day, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every match, every match. One half has been dominant. Fur again, MMR has been relentless on this aggressive underpass. <laughs> oh my god, he <laughs> pays off. He's even looking for it as well. That's fair for you. So <clears throat> Look at this, there's a small timing window where there's only two people in my BR. Oh, time window's gone. The mid players shift to connector, so there's a fast road for MMBR to really capitalize on this A take by complexity. Sam's going to try to sneak up to see anyone. He does spot someone at triple. All and takes out Ye in the halls. Kills trying to make it happen. Kills going left and right. Sam's off, though. Falling in with two. Now the bomb is down. Only towards the stairs. Dewey backing off into a smoke. That's a big frag. Android has it all to do. Stewie close with the AWP, and that's going to be the match. So close for complexity. That's going to be frustrating to claw it back to almost the last round. Just shy of the finish line. MIBR will pip the post. Much needed points for MIBR. Again, complexity can take that loss. They'll definitely want revenge on the next match. It's quite the struggle in the end. And my my goodness, that's a good way to, for complexity to start off against MIBR. <laughs> To have it come, uh, come back like that should help to give them some confidence that they can make this matchup work because MIBR are all guns blazing on the first half. Some of those plays out of Stewie, out of Fallen especially, were just so, so horrible to deal with. And moving into the final map, Complexity don't look in too bad stead. Definitely warmed up at this point. Yeah, definitely looked a little better towards the end there. Again, the whole deficit was too big in the first half. I mean, only getting what, 11 rounds on, on your, or only four rounds on the CT side. It's very difficult. Uh, definitely a long way back for complexity, and they did the best they could, but unfortunately, they can only take it to round number 29. Almost all the rounds, but not quite. MIBR with the last ditch attempt just before the worst happened. 3,000 damage just shy of for Fallen. 31 frags. In the end, he had some very explosive rounds of 4K of 5K outstanding stuff from him, as you've come to expect from pretty much everybody on that team. And that is the first game in the bag. Indeed, we have one more game tonight to follow this one. Of course, NYBR will play once again against Complexity. So stay with us. We'll be back after the break for that one.